What is up YouTube, it's Pulse, and this is the gym membership fee calculator from the Visual Basic textbook. Um, just for the sake of time today on this one, because this one is quite an in-depth one, I'm not going to be explaining what each um, name and everything is on the checkboxes. A checkbox is a checkbox, and for yoga, it's going to be karate, then trainer, monthly fee, text box, txt monthly fee, total, txt total cost, uh, number of months for the months, and then radio button, red, adult, it'll be child, student, and then senior. Alright, so... We're going to define our global variables first before we do anything. Dim decimal discount as decimal. Dim decimal total fee as decimal. Dim months integer as integer. And then dim decimal base fee as decimal. And then we're going to have three constants. Uh, the decimal for um, four to six months total is going to be a 0 0.5. Seven to nine months is going to be a 0 0.08, and then a decimal for ten more is going to be a 0 0.1. Um, so we're going to go into our calculate button now. After you have everything, I will have the code in the description. Please do not copy my work. Uh, at least change it up for yourself. I don't like plagiarism, but the code will be available for download under the programming tutorials tab at my website. It will be in the description. Um, please do not click the first link for download for JTAG users because this is for programming so it'll be the second link um so for the button calc if integer if not integer try pass text number months dot text comma integer months then message box show it's going to be saying that if the months are not a valid uh, number between 1 and 24 then it's going to be a valid integer um return end if simple uh, the month range if integer months is less than 1 or it's greater than 24 and then it needs to be within this range of this and it's going to be an input error. Uh, radio buttons, they're going to be showing our base fees for the adult standard price. So if radio button adult dot check true then the base fee is going to be 40. Um, else if is if something else is checked, so if grad child's checked, then it'd be 20, if the student was checked, it'd be 25, and if the senior, it'd be 30. Um, this is for our checkboxes. These add on to our student, standard, child, or senior citizen. So that'll be, if checkbox yoga dot check true, then decimal base fee plus $10, it, and if, and then if karate checked, then it's plus 30, and if trainers checked, then it is 50. Um, so now we're going to move into the um, enter number of months. So that's going to be a select case since we are doing a, um, a range of 4 to 6, 7 to 9, or 10 or more. It is going to be select case, integer months, case is greater than, uh, case is less than 3, then the decimal is discount is 0. Case 4 to 6, decimal discount equals the base fee times the Defined global variable for our four to six months. It's going to be the same thing for our seven to nine, but we're going to be using the seven to nine instead, and for ten or more, we're going to be using the ten or more one. And then end select to end that selecting case. Down at the bottom, decimal fee minus the discount, and then decimal total fee equals the base fee times the integer months. And that's going to be basically saying, our radio button checked and then adding whatever this is times the amount of this so our base fee plus whatever these are times these and it'll acquire the discount in for here and here and then to display the fees txt monthly fee dot text equals dec base fee to string that's gonna be what our base fee is for each month when you have this it will factor in the discount and txt total cost is dec total fee to string um, C is for currency, and basically what you're going to be doing is calculating the total number of months combined of payment, and then how much it is each month. Um, our clear button, I automatically set my radio adult button to be checked, just because I need at least one checked, it gives me a little bit of peace of mind. And then uncheck all of the, uh, text, or the check boxes, and then clear all of the text boxes. Um, 
The reason why this is the only one that is clear is because this is integer and these are a a string final value to string, so these will be string dot empty instead of clear. And then button close me dot close. So we're gonna launch the application and I'm gonna show you guys the application fully running. As soon as it gets done, I just opened this um, Visual Studio project, so it will give me a little bit of a glitch time frame. And I need to grab it off my other monitor now. And so, a uh, standard adult, we're gonna be popping back over here to show you guys if my basic unfreezes. Um, so, our standard adult was 40. Oops, wrong button. Our standard adult was 40. So, and then let's say we add yoga, which is $10, and then number of months, I'm going to give you guys an example, for one month, it would be $50, because 40 plus 10 equals 50, and the total would be 50. So if it was four months, you would have the partial discount of 0.05, which would bring it down $2.50, because 0.05 is that percentage of 50. And it would give you the total month's value for total that would be for $4, calculating in the discount as well. So say we were a child, a child is 20, and then we gave a child all three of these. So that would be 30 plus 10 plus 50, which would be $90. And so for one month, it should be $110. For 10 months, oops, I almost hit a decimal. For 10 months, it would be $99 because you have the discount. And then it would be a total of $990. If we put in a bizarre number above that, it would say enter value in the range of 1 to 24 months. So we're just going to clear all those and show our default one is clicked and all three of these are unchecked. You can click calculate, but you need to have these months in a valid integer. And guys, so that's about it for this one. I tried to make it short and easy for the sake of time, but I ended up hitting over about seven minutes so far. Um, if you guys do have any projects you would like me to um, do for you guys and show here on YouTube how to do it for other people to see, that's good too. Um, if you need a project presented for your teacher or something and you don't want to record it for YouTube, um, I can do a recording for you guys and just post it on here just to let me know what I'm typing in to where it's accurate. If you guys do have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Leave a like and a sub, guys. I'm on that road to 100,000 subscribers. I think I have about 30 since I'm making this video. Um, I have to remake every single one of the videos I posted before, so I will be doing be kicking out these programming videos and JTAG videos as quickly as possible. So. I'll probably end up with 100 plus videos by the time I hit 50 subs. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, leave a like and a sub. I do take time out of my day to do these. So if you guys do have any questions, once again, please let me know and I will get back to you as soon as possible. So I'll see you guys at the next video. Thanks.